And this morning, we are joined by Joe Foster from the Center on Colfax. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, we were just talking during the commercial break. Busy weekend ahead. Great to have this event back and get everyone together again, although it will be a little bit different. You have six Pride Hubs. Kind of talk about what that will look like and what people can expect. Well, yeah, so in a normal year, the the whole Pride Fest will take place at Civic Center Park. So the best way we found to make sure that everyone can stay safe based on the information we had back when we started planning back last July is to really split the park up into different hubs throughout Denver where people can feel safe. They might not have to travel too far uh, and just enjoy the vendors, the food trucks, uh, performers, any other entertainers, DJs, you name it. So it's pretty much like Civic Center is just all over the place at this point for Pride this year. I can imagine it was quite the feat to try to plan something in the middle of a pandemic. Why do events like Pride matter so much as we continue to fight for equal rights for members of Colorado's LGBTQIA community? Well, I always say that Pride is a, it's a way to look back on our accomplishments that we've achieved in our movement, but it's also a way for us to celebrate those accomplishments and look forward. I also like to say that most people uh, should really think about those who really paved the way for us to make this happen. And it's a really great chance for all of us just to be together. You know, in a normal year, we can just celebrate all year round about who and, and be who we are. But we're in a pandemic, we feel just as more isolated than we usually do um, in a normal year. So it's important for us to get out there and just be ourselves. That's what's more most important about uh, Pride, especially this year coming out of 2020. Yeah, I mean, such a challenging year on so many levels. Where can people go to support our city's LGBTQIA-owned businesses, uh, not just this weekend, but year-round? Well, they can go to any uh, place they feel safe. That's what I keep telling the community is any place that you might feel like where you can be yourself is the best place to support, whether it be the Triangle by Broadway, whether or the center in Colfax here or in Colfax is just come out, uh, support as much as you can and learn more at our website, lgbtqcolorado.org about different resources and different LGBTQ owned businesses uh, that can give you the support and safe space that uh, you might crave. Pride is about celebration. It is also about living your truth. So what other resources are out there for someone who might need to talk about their identity? Well, as always, you can come to the Center of Colfax. We will be reopening on July 7th fully to the community to come by and uh, get resources in terms of support groups. But other organizations like the Trevor Project really um, create a lifeline for those who might need it. Uh, the Trevor Project is a great organization that aims to really make sure our youth feel protected and safe. And um, other organizations like One Colorado also have resources in terms of their education programs. Uh, but like I said, as always, the Center of Colfax is Denver and the Rocky Mountain regions, safe space for everyone. So please come on down. Uh, we, you also go to our website and we also will have hybrid programming coming along in the next couple of months where people can participate virtually, even if they're nowhere near Denver, Colorado. Well, we know uh, you have a lot of, of great events planned for this weekend. It should be a very festive atmosphere. Uh, happy Pride to you, and thanks for taking the time to spend with us this morning. Thank you so much, and thank you to everyone at Denver 7. Happy Pride to all of you. Thank you. Happy Pride.